Hey everybody, it's Badger Ratty here, and welcome back to more Dragon Quest IX. Now, in the last episode, we defeated the Leviathan, and then we took a pointless journey across a pointless ocean on a pointless boat to a pointless outpost. But quite simply, it was pretty damn pointless. Anyway, let's take care, let's continue from when we last left off, and, if you remember correctly, we did obtain something rather useful, and known as a Seed of Strength. So we're going to quickly give this to our warrior, because they need strength to hit things harder with more strength. It makes sense. Okay, so once you've done that, um, you'll notice we're in Slurry Key still, um, and as I said, this is a completely pointless place, so the first thing we're going to do is leave this place, because it's pointless. So I'm going to cross another pointless journey, and hopefully dodging all these creatures, I mean, I wouldn't mind attacking a few fair enough, you know, get a bit higher level, but I'd rather not. I don't know why. Time consuming, bit boring, yeah. Okay, so here we are in the next place called The Bridge. See the pun on there? Welcome to The Bridge, Morn! Yeah. Anyway, so as you're running across, run across this bridge here, and we should, in theory, yeah, there we go. One scene. Another scene. You like that scenes, don't we? Now, you may recognize this ghost from earlier, when we last went to the Starfight Express. But it's what she has to say. Not here, either. Deja vu much? Yeah. But then, all of a sudden, huh? surely. Does it me, or she just bends down and goes, Obi Wan, you're my only hope? It's right, totally just me. Speak, woman! No, no, it can't be. And then she leaves. Rude person. What am I thinking, mistaking a traveller for a celestial like that? Well, you wouldn't have been wrong, but yeah. Haven't I seen that fashion abomination somewhere before? Oh well, never mind. You've got figs to be finding, right? Well, let's hope the search is fruitful. Ha ha ha! Let's see what you did there. Yeah, it wasn't funny. Oh, okay, it might be slightly funny. Alright, once you've come across the bridge, walk down these stairs. The old geezer here is your item store, but we can just ignore him for the moment and be. The place you want is through here, and this bookshelf, which we're going to speak to. There's a book here called Intermediate Alchemy. He who matches the recipes herein can call himself competent alchemist, seek out the ingredients, and set to work. You mean no rule in the world? Oh well. Um, so you find a few things, you can juice, sages, elixirs, uh, astral plume, a few pointless things really, just basic alchemy stuff to be honest. Once you've done here, we want to leave this place. After that, come on, run across this river. Now, for me, this is fairly pointless, but if you happen to have a thief in your team, your thief is level 15 or higher, you come into this building here, or this wooden shack, and I believe, I believe it's to be this person here, but if you speak to her, she will give you a, a thief-specific quest. You do the quest, you complete it, and um, I think she just gives you a robe. I have done the Thieves and the Mages one before, and they only gave me robes as far as I remember. Um, but they're not really too important, they're not like the quest where you go out and do them and they give you the vocation, because obviously we start off with a Thief vocation, so... I don't know, I might do those quests, um, possibly not, but I didn't really like them too much. Now the next place to go is up these stairs here. This is slightly important, in fact it's probably the most important feature of the whole game, even though it's a, a delivering idiot, to be honest. Now, as you notice, there's a pile of gold, which, yes, we all want to steal, but unfortunately, we can't. There's a bunch of barrels we can smash, um, uh, and an to her. Always nice and helpful. Nothing else? But, uh, I believe that's it, apart from the two chests. But this is what's really good. See the two chests here in the pile of gold? This is what's better. Oh, yes! There's a load of chests in here, but the really sucky thing is this. The door is locked. Sucks, doesn't it? As well for this chest as well, look, the door. The door? The treasure chest is locked. And, um, but luckily we can get this one though. Matty acquires the seed of sorcery. And obviously you instantly get the idea that that goes towards a mage. Now this is the guy we're supposed to be speaking to. It's a blithering idiot, basically. Ahoy there, I am Captain Max Medlin, swashbuckling, seafaring collector of the only mini festive medals. Now how come I can read that one properly than all the other stupid speeches? Ugh. I sailed the seven seas all my years, plundering the most maximal amount of treasures me whole could carry. 
So one day the patch fell from my eye, and I saw the maximum joy I ever had in myself was these miniature medals. Okay, I'm starting to lose it slowly. What say you, traveller? If you happen to come across any mini medals on your travels, will you sail my way with me? There, there. Okay, so basically, the mini medals you've been seeing, this is where they finally come into hand. Now, I can only have nine, but you should have at least four by this point, and four is the amount that you want. If you have nine, excellent, because we do actually get another item from it. So, eventually we continue, um, hand them over now, give me more, you thief. Ah, just look at that gleam, like miniature suns they are, that's nine mini medals you've given me, thank you kindly. And in my name word, so here's some of the booty I promised by you. For four medals, you get the thieves key. Let's not imagine thieves key. Well, what does a thief do? He robs things. It's a pick lock, isn't it? How many things have we come across that have been locked, I wonder? Um, I'm a man of words, so here's my booty as promised. For eight medals, you get the Mercury's bandana. And um, we'll look into that in a minute because eventually we finish. That's nine medals, um, so blah blah blah. Go off, find four more to get 13, and then come back to him later for a bunny suit. And I'm not spending anything. He did actually say he would give us a bunny suit. Why do we even want a bunny? Oh. Anyway, with the thieves key, this is what happens. The chest is locked, but Matty unlocks the chest, and it's another mini medal! Ah, uh, yes, we're stealing his mini medals. Actually, brings to mind, actually, of all the mini medals. Why do you want us to bring you mini medals when there's all of these? Give me your mini medals! Oh. Anyway, yes, with the thieves key, we unfortunately can't do this. The door is locked. It doesn't look like any of the keys in your past possession will open it. Sucks, right? So, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave that for a bit later on in the... I didn't even speak to... Oh, right, yeah, great. One of the things, it just does it automatically. Um, so we're going to have to save that for a little bit later on in the game. Now, once this has been finished, we need to come across... Actually, it's... I want to hope this works still, because it's actually quite amusing. Um, oh, it dies further up. Uh, let me go and check if it's still there. Ah, it is! Excellent! Just... Sight to the left of this is this little bridge here, looks a bit broken. Um, yeah, watch this. Tight rope art! Why did he really do that, seriously? I mean, all right, fair enough, it's great, but they could have, like, put a little plank of wood instead of, like, the thinnest piece of rope you could possibly imagine. Ah, yes. Anyway, um, the next place we want is the northernmost shack. And it's another one of these, like, weird guys with the bullhorn stuff. Anyway, we're ignoring him for the time being, and I'm getting two gold coins, apparently. Excellent. And inside there is 52. Oh wow! Um, the money seems to like. How much money do we have? 6,749. Well, there's a few people who are gonna laugh at that number. Anyway, uh, let's speak to these bookshelves. So, book here called "Don't Roll Your Eyes, Guys." Accessorize. Wow, baddest pun ever. Anyway, um, so we get some rough guy tattoos, a couple of rubies, some armlets, more ruby stuff. Yes. Um, is there anything else? Oh, it wasn't here. A pair of silver bracelets. Awesome. So, is there any more books? Uh, no, we've already had that one! Get off! Be gone, you stupid bookshelf! I want this bookshelf. Uh, hats off to headgear. I wonder if this book is going to teach us how to create headgear by any chance. Pointy hat! Oh, no, I've never seen that one. A tricky turban, more turbans, a thieves turban. Yeah. And as you can see, this guy apparently has a nice view that we can't even run outside, obviously. We should be able to run outside there, shouldn't we? Anyway, uh, speak to this guy here. He's more important. Who'd have thought I'd sell that shining fruit for such big money, yeah? And it only cost me a pair of leather shoes, hee hee hee. Uh, you're after one and all, aren't you? Afraid I sold it to the weird bloke who lives at the bottom of that mountain, Zero Rocks. If you want to go after it, just cross the bridge and follow the road east. Have a gander with the signs as you should fa be fine. I wonder what made the old fella pr pay so much for it though, eh? Now, I wonder what this guy could mean by shining fruits. Well, let's put it this way, if you're thinking of a fig, you wouldn't be wrong. Um, yeah, the guy, everyone seems to sell the fig. If you have a fig, it's like, hey, you eat the fig. Hey, have the fig, I'm selling it to you. Can't we just have find one guy who legitimately picks up the fig and keeps it for himself for once? Ugh. Anyway, um, that's pretty much about it for this place. Uh, we found out where the fig is, so as you can tell, this is another pointless place. But it's not too pointless because of the captain. However, there is another place. Um, now, as you can see, we can't really see anything. But if you run here, the door is locked. It doesn't like any of the keys in your party possession will open it. Yeah, that's right. There is actually a door behind here. I can change the camera angle, but for some reason, the 
keys appear to not be working for me, which is quite strange. Um, believe me, there is a door back there. Um, we'll be coming back to that later on in the game again, unfortunately. But for now, what we want to do is not run through that door. We want to run back up these ladders. And across here, we should find this guy. Cross the bridge and follow the road south to get to Bloomingdale. Head northeast along the way and you'll come to save rocks. You should be careful whichever way you blah 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 creatures. Yeah, whatever. Now, the next place we do need to go is called Bloomingdale, but as you just heard, the fig is in a place called Zero Rocks. So, this guy basically tells you, if you weren't reading the last couple of lines that that previous guy said, where Zero Rocks is. However, we aren't going to go into Zero Rocks first. No. We just got the Thieves' Key, and as you may remember, we have come across a lot of locked chests in the past. So, prepare for a chest unlocking montage, starting off at, eventually when I get it, Stone Way. So, here we go, I'll show you where most of all lock chests are up to the point in this time. So let's have some fun, shall we? Uh, 